everybody, this is your boy James from What's Your Forte, and today we're going to be installing this 2 terabyte SSD into this Lenovo C930 Glass laptop. So let's go ahead and get to it. Alright, so I put out a video on my channel about a year ago. I did a full review on this Lenovo C930 laptop. If you are interested in looking at that review, I'll be linking that video up here. So you can definitely um, go check that out and check out the review on this laptop. Laptop is a very good laptop, 4K screen, touch screen. I mean, it's it's very, very nice laptop. Even comes with its own pin that is right here. Um, but right now, it's time to just really upgrade the uh, memory in this laptop. It only came equipped with 512. We're going to go ahead and throw a 2 terabyte SSD in it. And I'm going to be showing you all how to do that today. So the 2 terabyte SSD that we have right here is going to be from Gamex S11 Pro um, 2 terabyte SSD. This um, SSD was around 260 bucks at the time that I shot this. Price is going to vary because um, I got it on a uh, sale. Um, so I was able to pick that up there. Um, pretty good price for 2 terabytes, 260 bucks. Really, really good price. Um, we had great reviews on Amazon, and I'll be linking it down below um, if you're interested in looking at the more details. Um, also, what we have here, I have a uh, Q9 kit. So this is the same kit that I used when I had to upgrade the RAM on my MacBook. So I was able to pick up this Q. Um, I still had this Q9 kit. I'll link that down below too if you're interested in looking at into one of these tool kits. Also, to help me out with the install, I got this Roswell anti-static wrist strap. Um, so it's always safe to have these whenever you're doing an SSD install. Is it, is it required? No. Is it recommended? Yes. So, um, definitely we'll see if I need this. I haven't never been inside of a Lenovo. Um, so I may need this. I may not. So once I open up the laptop, I'll be able to see exactly if I need this anti-static, um, wrist strap too. And this is just kind of like a grounding wire. So you don't damage any of your internal components. All right. So another item that I picked up here is you're going to need whenever you're doing like a, a hard drive or ssd upgrade you're going to need to clone your existing drive onto the other your new drive so i've got this right here this is kind of just a ssd enclosure um it's from adwits i'll be linking it down below you can get this from around about 32 bucks on amazon it comes with all the plugs you need usb-c to usb-c or usb-c to type or usb to type a um so you can it comes with all the plugs you need um very very small um enclosure um, and it had really, really good ratings too. So I picked this up. Um, very budget option, but it definitely can get the job done. So pick that up there. So you're going to need this also if you're ever trying to do like an, uh, a hard drive upgrade. All right, so those are the basic tools you're going to need. Of course, you need a laptop. This laptop has nothing but USB-C um, ports. So I do have this Lenovo dongle here in case I do need it. I can... Um, hook anything up to that but those are the basic um tools you're going to need um you're also going to need a cloning software in order to clone your existing data on your main laptop to your new drive so when you so when you install it it'll be every everything will be cloned everything will be mirrored to your existing drive you don't lose any of your data so what i'm the software i'm going to be using today is software from Macrum. it is a free uh software you do get a 30-day trial i only need it for one day so that's why i'm using it um it's free and all you have to do is just give me your email and you can just opt out but i'll be showing going through that whole process too and showing you exactly step by step how to uh, clone the drive which is what you need to do first and then once the drive is cloned and you can confirm that all the data is on it and it's correct then after you clone then we'll be opening up the laptop and going inside and actually switching out the drives so now let's go ahead and get to cloning um the uh, existing hard drive on the uh lenovo yoga all right everyone so as you can see here i'm at the macroom.com website because so right now i'm gonna go ahead and get the software we're gonna need in order to do the uh, cloning of the drives so what you want to do is scroll down to the home edition part click on home edition once you get to the home edition part what you want to do is hit download 30 day trial so now you're gonna to have to enter an email address in order to register so right now I'm just gonna um, put in the email address alright so after you enter your email address it's gonna ask you would you like to receive occasional information no you did not hit continue now it says thank you for registering your software please check your email so now you want to go to your email wherever your email is stored and then you're going to want to pull up that email and it's going to have 
a product key and download instructions. So at that point, it's going to ask you to complete your registration and tell you what your registration code is. And then you just follow the instructions. All right. So as you can see here, this is the Mac room interface. So it shows you all the partitions and everything that is currently on your disk. So what we want to do, we want to clone this disk, right? All right, everyone, so now that I'm back, so what I'm gonna do now, I've already taken the screws off. There is one, two, three, four, five, six screws on the back of this Lenovo laptop. And now that you have the screws off, now what you wanna do, if you have like a plastic trim tool, kind of like this, I'll um, link the one that I have down in the description below. This is actually the one that I use on my car, but it actually works for this, it works for anything like that too. So. What I'm gonna do is use this to kind of pry open, kind of get a, a corner up, and then use that to go all the way around. So what I'd like to do is to kind of get into a corner, kind of like so. So, so I'm gonna use this to kind of pry open a corner here. So then once I get that corner up, and I'll kind of shift this up so y'all can see a little better. So if you see right there, you see that corner, how that corner is propped up a little bit now. Now I'm just going to go around this and it's kind of already coming off there. So once you get up in here, you can kind of start prying it. Let me lay this back down. And now that this is down, I should be able to pretty much lift this right up. Yep. Lift it right up. And boom, this is the inside of the computer right here. All right, everyone. So this is what the inside of the of the Lenovo laptop looks like. So you've got some fans up here. Um, we've got all the electronics, all the modules there. This slot here is actually, so I'm moving right there. That slot right there going all the way up to the top is actually where the pin sits. So I took the pin out because I didn't know if it would interfere with me taking the back off or not. So I took it out just for safety measure. But um, that's where the pin sits. So right now, as you can kind of see here, this is where the SSD currently is. And right now, this unit right here is a Western Digital SSD. And that's what we're gonna be replacing with the XPG unit. So now let's go ahead and get to replacing this unit. All right, everyone, so as you can see here, this is the SSD that is currently in the device. And then you see right here, this is the screw that we need to remove. So I'm just gonna grab the screwdriver here, a little mini screwdriver and take this screw out. Now, on some of these Lenovo machines, this screw can be very, very tight and very, very difficult. I already kind of prepped the screw so I can make it look easier on camera, but um, it did take me a little while to get this screw out um, to get it uh, moving. It's almost like they put Loctite, Loctite on the screw, which I don't understand why, but they do. So now the screw's out. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and remove this SSD. So if you are wearing, a, if you do have a static wrist band, I suggest um, you put one on. This is kind of what static wrist band looks like for those who've never seen one before. Just kind of helps prevent any static electricity from um, coming off your body and damaging the um, inside of the computer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put mine on now. You kind of want to ground it to something that is metal. Um, and this, this is just help, I mean, I've done it without one, so, you know, is it like you got to have it? I wouldn't say you ultimately have to have it, but it is just a safety measure. All right, so I go ahead and have that. I have my static wristband grounded, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this the existing SSD out. So it should just pop right out. Slowly wiggle it out, and there it goes. That is that Western Digital SSD. So I'm going to lay this off to the side. Now we're going to put in the XPG 2 terabyte SSD, which is right here. So now I'm just going to slide that in. 
slides right in. It just it really kind of sticks out, you know, because it has, has this little red coating on it, so it really sticks out. All right, so now we'll make sure that is all the way in. And now, as you can see there, it's all the way in. So now I'm going to take that screw that I just took back out and put it back into here. All right, so I'm just going to tighten it up a little bit more just to make sure everything is good. All right, so now everything is tight. Everything is in the spot where it's supposed to be. So now what I'm going to do just to ensure that everything is working correctly, I'm only going to I'm going to put the back back on, but only put on like two screws. I want to make sure that everything is working correctly before I tighten everything completely down. So now let's go ahead. I'm going to put the back panel back on. Just probably put this screw just on this side, another screw on the opposite side, um, back on the laptop. And then uh, we're going to turn it over and turn it on and power it on to make sure everything boots up correctly. So let me go ahead and get to that. All right, everyone. So as you can kind of see right here, everything booted back up correctly. Um, all the programs and everything moved over. Everything's looking pretty good, man. So let me go ahead and pull up a Windows Explorer. And it booted up really fast, too. Um, pull up a Windows Explorer here. So let's go to this PC. All right. And as you can kind of see right there on the screen, it is showing the Windows SSD has 1.38 terabytes free um, of the 1.863 so boom everything is installed and looking good man so if you have a Lenovo laptop and you want to upgrade the SSD this is how you do it man so like I said the links to everything that I use will be down in the description below and um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here man so like subscribe comment down below let me know what you think about this process and I will be um, updating in the comments how this SSD is performing um, after the install. So that's it, man. That's all I got for y'all today. So I'll let y'all later, man. As always, peace. Uh -huh.